Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I'm making some old-fashioned meat pies. This is everything I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil, a quarter of an onion, some garlic. Right there I have a little bit of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna make a slurry just to make everything thicken up. I have a small carrot. I'm gonna cube it up into small pieces, just like that. Same thing with the potato. I'm gonna cube it up really small. That's Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna use one pound of ground beef. I have a little bit of tomato paste, salt, pepper, some red pepper flakes, and some grand biscuits. Let's get this started. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with about a tablespoon of olive oil. To this, I'm adding my chopped onion, and I'm gonna cook this for about three minutes until they become translucent. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. Okay, so now you just cook up your garlic for about a minute, and then you mix everything up. Now I added my ground beef, and I'm mixing my onions and my ground beef, everything together. Cooked some of the red out of this. I'm adding my spices. I'm adding my Worcestershire sauce and my tomato paste. And I'm going to mix all this together. Okay, ground beef is 80-20 and has a little bit of oil. So I'm going to drain it and then I'm going to add my potatoes and my carrots. Okay. Everything's mixed together. But my carrots and my potatoes are not cooked yet, and they're still real firm. Okay, so now I lowered it to a real low simmer, and I'm going to cover it for about 5 or 10 minutes. I'll check it, make sure my potatoes and carrots are nice and soft, and then we'll go to the next step. Everything's cooked, and I'm going to add a little bit of flour, and this is just going to pack everything together. We're going to make meat pies and we're going to fill our dough so we don't want it to go all over the place. So it kind of packs it together a little bit. My meat filling is cooling off. I transferred it to a small bowl and it's just gonna cool off. These are my biscuits. Gotta open up the pan. Whack it against your counter, and there you go. Have a little bit of flour on my work surface. Okay. And here we go. I'm just right here. I'm gonna flour up my rolling pin. And I'm gonna roll these out I'm going to roll them out flat, make them a little bigger than this, and then we're going to stuff them with my tasty meat filling. Okay, so this is a good size right here. Okay. And then you're going to, I'm going to put some of my meat filling in here. Don't overstuff. You want to be able to close it. Going to get a fork. Okay, we're going to close this up. We're going to close them up with my fork. And this is a meat pie. I'm going to bake these. Okay. Just adding a little ventilation right there. And uh, that's my meat pie. I'm going to make all my pies and I'm going to freeze some of them. And I will show you the little aluminum foil pocket that I make. So here's my little meat pies. I have a... Uh, 
multi-function air fryer. It's the Emerald Lagasse, and I'm going to put it on the bake function. I'm going to cook it for at 350 and, and just until it's nice and brown. It should take about 10 to 20 minutes. I'll let you know. I did spray the bottom of my pan. Little pies are in my Emerald Lagasse air fryer, but I am using the bake function. I'm baking these. You guys can use your regular ovens. I'm baking them at 350. And uh, I think it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. I will see what they look like after 10 and I'll let you know. Okay, friends, with all the transparency, okay, this is what I made. I made eight pies, okay? This is all the filling that I have left, just a little bit. That's a great side dish. It's very tasty. Let me show you. These are the two that I just baked, and it only took me 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Look how beautiful they are. <laughs> Beautiful brown toasty color. They came out great. This is how I end up freezing these. Take a piece of aluminum foil. I sprayed it with a nonstick spray. Put your pie in here. And now you're just going to create a little pocket. Fold up the edges. And then from here you're going to put it in your freezer. And you can make them next week or in a month very easy and they keep for a while just take them out frozen they'll probably take you a little longer to cook until they're golden brown it only took me 10 minutes like this uh, it'll probably take you about 13 to 15 minutes on 350 degree oven okay friends look at the inside of my little Biscuit meat pie. Wow, it really looks good. A very tasty center filling. Very easy recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on my channel. If you appreciate all my hard labor, please give me a thumbs up. It'll really help me out on my channel. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. See you next time.